running in place. Y'all really testing my patience. Right before I blow up the spot, I had to get back to the basics. What if my talent is wasted? It's sick, but I'm lacking the place. All right, what the hell is up, YouTube? Um, today's a rest day, so I'm gonna show you guys like out of vlog is what I call this. Um, yeah, basically today I have a couple clients. I have cardio to do. Um, I do need to like actually order some stuff online. I'm going to Miami at the end of this month, so I'm gonna try to do that. And then get my house together, so I'm gonna do a little like cleaning situation. And yeah, so I'm gonna show you what I do. Right now, it's like eight in the morning. No matter if it's a Sunday, what kind of day off it is, my body will not let me fucking sleep past 7 a.m. So anyways, it's eight o'clock right now. I'm gonna make some coffee, probably watch a little YouTube, just like chill this morning and do some online shopping so I can get some outfits prepared for Miami. First things first, we gotta make some coffee. I have an espresso. Um, my espresso changed the fucking game for me because I feel like I don't have to put as much like creamer in it because it's good on its own. Um, the pot I'm gonna have today, vanilla custard pie. So I'm just gonna throw that bitch in there, close her up, and then this is where you guys all come for my neck. This is cow's milk. I know, I know, okay, but Almond milk doesn't froth up. Oat milk, bitch, I ain't using fucking macros on that. Hell no. All of the like plant-based milks that froth well are too high in macros for me to like want to use them. Whereas this Carb Master one, I got it from Kroger. This one for eight ounces is zero fat, three carb, and 11 protein. So you should get a little protein in it, but it froths up and it's delicious. And I have the frother from Nespresso, so all I do is, I don't know, I usually do like 90 milliliters. Okay, maybe you can kind of see this shit. Sorry, YouTuber of the year. Okay, um, you can't really see it, but I put in 100 milliliters on the dot. So it looks like that kind of. You can see my ring light thing in here. Um, yeah, I don't know, you guys said it didn't need to be fancy. So I don't know, that it just froths on its own. Um, but while, the uh, espresso was going. This is just liquid stevia that I got from Walmart. So I just throw that in there. And then I also do a little bit of this. Um, this is sugar-free vanilla that I also got from Walmart. Okay, it's kind of fucked up, but. It's just like sugar-free vanilla like syrup, basically. And yeah, so then once that's done frothing, I'll just mix it together. Look, it's extra frothy, and then I just pour it in my coffee. Oh shit, I honestly did too much milk. Cause this bitch be overflowing. And then she's like this, like, come on. And like this whole thing maybe has two carbs in it. Like it's literally just like a couple grams of protein and that's fucking it. So, um, I won't lie, this is my second one. I lied to you guys, I was like, oh my god, I just woke up. No, I woke up at seven, I already had one cup of coffee, sat on my couch, and I was like, oh my god, maybe I should like vlog this rest day. Um, so that's what I'm doing. So I'm gonna drink this, chill on my couch, do some online shopping vibe this morning, and then I'll let you know what I'm doing later. Okay, this is the vibe this morning, watching Nazneen Kavari. I've been watching this bitch since I was literally like 11, so she's just like, I don't know. She's like my comfort YouTuber and I like watching her and her like family now. It's so weird. I've been watching her since I was in like middle school. And then, oh shit, um, I'm just doing some like online shopping. This is Laura's Boutique. I have Princess Polly open. Hot Miami Styles, you know. Um, yeah, I'm trying to figure out some outfits for Miami. So I'm gonna do that this morning and yeah. Okay, it's like 10 a.m. now on this lazy rest day Sunday. So I'm gonna make my protein oats. I just use regular quick oats, like the one minute ones, but I put it in this beautiful little glass container because it makes me happy. And then I just weigh out 40 grams of this dry. Okay, editing Kenzie here. Why did the way I said dry like sound like the fucking like shriveled up lady from SpongeBob SquarePants with the pizza? You guys know what I'm talking about? It does look like this. We're not going to talk about this, but I'm just going to show you how I weigh it out. So I put the bowl on and then I tear it out so it's zero again. Give it a second. And then I'm going to change the units to grams. And then I'm just going to weigh out 40 grams of it. So basically until that number hits 40. Boom. And we got 40 grams. 
And so now I'm just gonna add water to it, just enough to like cover it. I like to do more, um, like little water at a time and if I have to add more, I will. So I just put like, you kind of see it, whatever. I just fill it with water and then I put it in my microwave for a minute, see how it is, then do it for 30 seconds. Oatmeal tends to overflow. Um, so basically I'll just do like a little bit of time and then do like 30 second increments just so it doesn't go all over my microwave. And then for the protein powder, I like to use the Legion salted caramel whey in there. And then I'll just do like one scoop, which is like about 30 grams. Now this is what the oatmeal looks like when it just gets out of the microwave. I'm just gonna add one scoop of the um, whey protein, mix it together, and then I'll put my toppings on. Okay, so then once it looks like this, I'm just gonna add some cinnamon. I know you can't really see this. I'm working on getting like a real camera, guys. I know it's annoying because I'm trying to look at the camera, but it's literally so hard not to look at myself when I talk. So, you know, we're getting there. I just need to figure out like which one I need because I don't want anything too fancy. Like it's easier for me to just like take videos on my iPhone and upload it. Um, but, you know. So then I mix the cinnamon and then I just do 40 grams of blueberries. I guess I could show you how to do that. Um, sorry, I'm like doing this upside down because uh, a bitch do not be having a second camera boom and i do like these specific numbers just because i like make myself a meal plan with my macro so it's just easier to do it this way i know it looks insane when i put like 42 or something in and i take it out but see like that's just how i live my life and then for the peanut butter i'll show you what i do so peanut butter hack i just take this regular peanut butter instead of like measuring it on here what you'll do is just put the whole jar on there Oh shit, you can't really see it. Oh god damn it, YouTuber of the year. Okay. So, okay, my thing's kind of dying. I know I need more batteries for this because you can't really see the number. But basically, you just tear it out. And then I'm getting low on this peanut butter. And then whatever you take out is how much you did. So you can't really see it, but that says nine. Nine grams. My fat's like decently low, so I don't do like this is barely like half a serving of peanut butter. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna eat this. Um, I've been doing like more stuff. Oh, I guess I should maybe say this on YouTube. Um, I launched my eight week pro uh, workout pro, pro I launched my eight week workout program. God, fuck. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna eat this oatmeal. Um, and then I've just been responding to some emails and questions about my new program. I haven't talked about this on here, but I finally launched my eight week workout program. It's a like downloadable, like digital download um, that you can have on your phone. It comes with like a progress tracker and there's a Facebook group. But I launched that yesterday. It's called Jacked Girl Shit. Put it on the screen or something. Um, but yeah, it's $35, eight week program. And yeah, so I've just been responding to that this morning. And then I need to start to clean my house soon because I'm getting to the point where it's like, mm, how much longer can you spend on your couch? But right, no, you guys, this is like one of my favorite fucking shows ever. Um, it's Fuad Abiyad. He's like a retired bodybuilder. But this is a podcast called Bodybuilding Anabolics. They have like a bro chat. They have a couple of them. It's literally just a bunch of male, like big ass bodybuilders, like talking the shit. I'm like so not their demographic by any means, but I have learned so much from this. And I feel like a lot of people are confused when I say, like, the second I stopped following Fitzwill people and started following bodybuilders, that's, like, when I learned the most. And I feel like a lot of people don't, they're like, why would I watch this? Like, I don't want to look like them. But, like, building muscle is the same no matter whether you just want to look a little toned or if you want to be, like, a fucking huge jacked guy like these guys. Like, it's the same, like, basic principles. But, yeah, I've learned so much from them. So, yeah, one of my favorite podcasts of all time. So I'm just watching this while finishing up some work on my computer. So yeah, this is why I'm YouTuber of the fucking century is I never told you guys what I'm doing, but this is a time lapse of me cleaning my kitchen. We're back. Um, basically, I've just been like cleaning this morning, answering like questions on TikTok and Instagram about my new program, Jack Girl Shit, whatever. Um, I uh, get your everyone in the Facebook group right now. I'm gonna sit down. I just ate my third meal um, I'm gonna sit down and do some client work and then at four I have to go and train two clients 
and then it's just gonna be i've done like my living room my kitchen she's pristine my bathroom and my bedroom on the other hand not so much um i also want to attempt to get to costco today so i have a lot of things i want to do um so we'll see it's about drive it's about power we stay hungry we devour what is this meal one two meal four just rice, chicken, I'm gonna add a shredded lettuce and then a whole egg just for some um, extra fat. I was gonna go to Costco, but I have no time for that. And they close at six, so that's gonna be a next week thing. Um, I wanted to get a Costco membership since like I live alone now, so I have the like freezer space. Um, and then also for the gas. Um, but I think that's gonna be a next week situation because I need food. Well, I need food and I just don't be having the time because I have a four o'clock client. My five o'clock canceled, which is kind of lit. Um, she canceled, but then I need to do cardio, cardio, and then I'm going to do some mobility, like stretch that shit out because I'm bad about that shit and it's a fucking rest day, so I might as well. Um, what else? And then I'm going to go, oh shit. She fell, she fell. Um... Then I'm just going to go to my regular grocery store. Um, yeah. Like always, I have my food fucking prepped because it's way easier if you do it this way. If you have to make your meals every time you need to eat, you're not going to want to fucking do it. Or at least I'm not going to want to do it. I know that about myself. Boom. But yeah, so I just throw this shit in the microwave and then I'm going to add some shred of lettuce. I might be like really fucking ratchet because I'm cleaning my stove and... Like, the things that go on top of it, I want to put in the dishwasher because I hate, like, can't clean them. So I might fucking microwave an egg. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I never said I do this shit fancy. That's why when people are like, how do you eat food that's been prepped? I'm like, bitch, you gotta be new here because I don't, this shit's not cute. This shit's not cute. It's not fresh. I am fine with eating all food. But yeah. The way that entire clip was like flipped upside down, YouTuber of the year. Okay, anyways, so chicken rice, I just microwaved it and then I threw a bunch of lettuce on it. And then I wasn't really in a hot sauce mood, um, but I like this. It's Coop's Arizona Heat. It's like a sweet, like sweet and also kind of spicy mustard. It's really good. It's kind of a like honey mustard. I don't really know. It's one, it has one carb in it. I'm not tracking it. If I was cutting, that would be a different story, but right now I don't really give a shit about it one carb so yeah i'm gonna eat this and then probably make an egg in the microwave so let's see how that turns out actually maybe i should like show you guys like how do we think it's gonna work is i think my real question like fire okay also these eggs have been fire as of late um but happy eggs i just like them because the darker the yolk the better it is The things I'm going to do not to have to <laughs> fucking clean those, the like, I don't want to, my stove situation, so I'm kind of just going to like hope for the best, and I'm just going to put this egg in a bowl. This is when you guys find out how nasty I really am. But I'm not going to lie to you, I'm going to sh show you guys exactly what the fuck I do, and that's exactly what the fuck I do, so we'll see. Okay, hear me out, hear me out, everyone. That kind of cooked. We're just gonna like whisk it a little bit more and the rest of it will cook. This is kind of low in my life, I'm gonna be honest. Does this look like something you'd probably get at a nursing home? Yes, but it does the job. Perfect. And then I'm gonna add 
then you just mix it in that bitch and this is the meal and then yeah so i'm going to train my client i'm gonna go do cardio